We are checking in with many county election offices, including Tehama County. And that's where we find Action News Network reporter Margot Rowe. Margot, I see a line of people behind you there. Are a lot of people coming in to get those ballots in, kind of under the wire. Absolutely, Haley. It has been nonstop here. You can see the line going right into the elections office here. It is stretched out to the entire back of the chamber here. Now, I spoke with the county clerk and registrar voter, Sean Hopi, and he says it's been nonstop here at the county office and many of the polls since opening at 7 a.m. this morning. Now, earlier today, there was a power outage in the county, but he says the elections office was able to power through it. So we um, got some generators out there. Um, all the machines run on battery. So, you know, we used the batteries at first, and then pg e did get some of the locations back up quickly by about 8 a.m., and then the rest of them that were down longer, we got generators out there and got them going. Now, he says it's been smooth sailing since the outage this morning, but and it's been a steady flow of voters coming in. And he says there's roughly about 37,000 registered voters in Tehama County, and they received about eight to 10,000 early voting ballots. But as you can see behind me, they're probably going to have a lot more coming in tonight, and that we will start to see the first wave of unofficial results come in around 8 p.m. right after the polls close. Reporting in Red Bluff, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. All right, thank you, Margot. We're going to check back in with her in the next 30 minutes.